this is my big sister, everyone. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Can't you tell the resemblance? <laughs> I, 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 at least I can, but of course I, I may be a little biased, you know, but yeah. it's, it's all good. Yeah. Look, yeah. hey, first and foremost, uh, in, in light of being my sister, I, I still need to thank you for being here oh, and yeah. setting, setting aside your time because you uh, talk about busy in the world of business. Oh my God. Uh, it, look, I, 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 as soon as I thought about this, I was like, there is someone in particular that I need to reach out to, <laughs> given her past experiences and what she's doing now. As, as, Sandy, as long as I can remember, you've been in, in and around the world of business in some form <laughs> yeah. of fashion. Yeah, right? yeah. I have. So, so look, we, we're going to delve into it and uh, talk about you know a lot of aspects of entrepreneurship, uh, but specifically, of course, you know some of your experiences uh, and the like. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Not a problem. So, so, so tell me, mm -hmm. what, right. how did you become so in, in, involved or so interested in, in business itself? Well, you know what? I think it was rooted in me when I was a child. Really, it really is. It has been. Because I can remember when I was a little girl, what interests me, let me tell you, I used to, got, I, when I got baptized when I was a child, I got this Bible from you know the church and I used to go okay. to the Bible reading the Bible didn't understand nothing I was pretty much reading in it but knew you know <laughs> brought up in the church but it's like I would read the Bible and try to teach I'm I'm, a, I'm just a natural born teacher anyway uh -huh. but, uh, but anyway I used to like the, the encyclopedias I had I used to go through them and and just try to get it's like business always intrigued me I was always drawn to business so with that being you there? Okay. Always, always drawn to business. Yeah. Yes. Just, just, just then, I wanted to shine that spotlight on you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, look, when when you breaking it down, and and as we go along, when yeah. you start to break it down and and, and really educate uh, yeah. educate us on a few things, yeah. I am going to do just that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But so um, so er, early on, how huh? that that early on. I was, yes, it was. Just, and then as I went through school, because, you know, let me tell you this story. And I don't think I really share this with too many people. Okay. I did my own. Um, I got accepted to like four colleges when I was ready to get when I graduated, you know, high school. When I yeah. left high school. So anyway, I got pregnant when I was 17. So that didn't happen. I went to college later on, though, but I didn't go then. But here again, okay. I was always on the beat, you know, just taking care of things. And paperwork was just not... I was drawn to paperwork, filling out paperwork. A lot of people with paperwork, I know in uh, in uh, really in doing business, paperwork to some people is just like pulling teeth. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people just don't like to do the paperwork. So anyway, I was just drawn to filling out papers and doing what I had to do. So here I am now still doing it, <laughs> still handling it. Still, still handling it, <laughs> but, but still doing it, still taking care of business yeah. with all of that vast experience, right? Yeah. Uh, so I, I know with that, you can share so many stories. Uh, it, it, it'll take eons of time for us to go through them and, and unpack them. Mm -hmm. And, and at, at some point, by the way, I, I do hope to kind of circle back okay. and, you know, touch base with you on a few things yeah. in particular. And, and let me quickly say this too. We've touched on this before. We've actually talked about it before. I shouldn't say touch on it. Right. But we we need to start doing con consider doing more things together on some yeah. level to, yes. to really expand this base. Yes, and I said I'm open to it. Remember that I'm open. Yes, that, you, I, absolutely. You, mm -hmm. you, you did. It's just you know people. Everybody's just so busy, you know, in our little worlds and doing our things and what have you. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, we make time for the things that yeah. are, are near and dear to us. Yes. Right. Yeah. And so, business is near and dear to me. And I want to let everybody know, because I will remember, I always say you were created for greatness. And guess what? We, I want you to leave legacies. That's a part of my mission statement and what I do with Push the Dream and all the other things I do. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. So so, so let, let's stay there. Push the Dream. What, what, what is that concept about? What does that look like? Okay. Push the Dream. The name came in 2016, but the vision came before that. See, okay. With the gifts that I have, and then, you know, soul searching, and I'll never forget, I was in my first salon, at my own first salon, and one day I was coming home from work, 
And I was like, God, I know there's more than what I have to do for you. And it was, you know, it was just a drive. And he told me, he met, he spoke to me so clearly. I heard him so clearly. He says, um, life to be. And what is life to be? Life to be is purpose. So then I started, I said, oh, okay, life to be. And I started, you know, listening more and, and getting clarity. It took me about two years to really get the clarity. And that was back in 2006 to really, really take it to another level. So I started thinking about, you know, things I wanted to do with workshops and conferences. And so I started, I created my business back then. I said, okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to start creating me uh, a business coaching, um, you know, business. So that's what yeah. I did. I started then doing it at that time and it, it, grew, it grew over the years. And so I wow. wanted to do something more to network with and okay. that's the dream came about. Because see, the vision was already there. And I had, you know, sharing the vision with a lot of people that I came in contact with and help. And even when my first salon, I was doing business coaching part time and helping others and, you know, connecting with people. And I, you know, a few people and they say I inspired them to keep their businesses open. So anyway, it's it's just I mean, what can I say? It's it was meant to be. <laughs> it was meant to be. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's interesting. What what you just touched on is directly related to uh -huh. um, a blog post I, I just wrote. I just posted wow. um, a, a day or so ago. Wow. Um, so just to, to hear you, how should I put it, validate uh, uh -huh. several things that I've in, incorporated here. And and if you if you haven't already, take take a look at this this article. Take a look at it. I am. I am. Um, when we get off the air. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I plan to do more because, I mean, truth be told, mm -hmm. this is this is actually the nature of uh, the blog talks itself. Okay. Uh, they derive from mm -hmm. blog posts, you know, okay. that I've written. Uh, other people may have written that have garnered a lot of attention. Wow. Uh, so the point is we need to start as creatively as possible yes. getting this information out there. We got to disseminate this information, yes. right? Um, it does us no good to be out in the world and we learn all of these different things, be it through our, our own experiences of formal or informal education or what have you, right. and, and hoard that information, exactly. right? It's like, what, what good is it going to do to keep it to yourself Exactly. Not pass it on and help the next man, next sister, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. I, I can almost quote, uh, there's a quote, um, quoting Les Brown, love Les. He says, you know, may, may it be that, you know, you, 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 you live all this life and then the ghost for, when you die and then the ghost come to you in, you know, when you're the ghost of death says, I gave it to you. I gave you life. Oh, I'm not quoting exactly the way he said it, but in, in you know, just to wrap it up and just to kind of paraphrase it, I gave you life, and yet and still, what did you do with it? Now it's it's pretty much is in the grave with you. <laughs> you know, wow. it's, it's like, yes. So it's it's it's, it's in, in 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 the grave with you, and what good mm -hmm. is it going to do for the next generation? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and so good? on. What is it gonna do? And Chris, if you um if you focus that on you, I can get I can pull it up real quick because I wanna I wanna share that quote if you don't mind. <laughs> well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I wanna yeah, let me find it real quick as you you keep on talking, uh, but I yeah. really want to find that because I really yeah. want, I really want the audience to hear exactly the please, way he put it. Please because, please do. That is, yeah. that's very timely and obviously very, very relevant. So, so, so you, you mentioned your your how far your, your business mind and that that business way of thinking goes back the entrepreneurial spirit. You have a lot of years in the business, and and you've you you've been in several areas, own salons, still own one, yeah, you know, just doing all types of stuff, right? Uh -huh. In the midst of all of that, what has been your greatest business accomplishment? Um, my business greatest. My greatest business accomplishment has been opening my own business with my salon, my first salon, because the reason I say yeah. that, because I was so fearful of doing that. Although I was 
in the business were, you know, just geared toward to stepping out there doing my own thing. At the time, I wasn't ready. I was ready financially, but I wasn't ready mentally. And I find out in business, that is the most key area where people won't step out. And the reason why I say this is my greatest accomplishment is because I, I did anyway. I did it in fear. I stepped out there. And although my mindset was saying, oh, I came up with all kinds of reasons that I said, oh, wow. I mean, what if I did? What if I don't succeed? And then people, what will people say? They'll talk about me. You know, that's what everybody goes through in business. A lot of it, if the truth be told, those are some of the things that keep them from doing and moving forward in business. So that's my greatest accomplishment. And then I, you know, I did extremely well when the market crashed. Yeah, we had, I had a little setback, but then guess what I did? I end up, I opened up another salon. So, okay. you know, yeah. yeah. And so it, it just that I did, I had, I gained that momentum once I did the first salon. And then I said, okay, cause you know, everything is hard for the first time, but once you do it again and again and again, it makes it a little easier. That's just like, and I'm gonna bring this up. It's just like when you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. That's just like one time if a person cheat on the, on their spouse or something, spouse, the second time is a little easier for them. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's, it's no different in stepping out there doing something afraid. Once you do it the first time, you know, you gain that momentum and you say, oh, wow, you know, I, I, I think I can do this. So you get a little more, your confidence level, it, it gets a little stronger. That muscle, that muscle builds up. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. I find exactly what I, yeah. Let me, let me pull it up real quick. So I'm, I'm, I'm I found the thing right okay. here. Good. Yeah. I'm just like, oh boy. So, but anyway, <laughs> um, but the, yeah, but to answer your question, Chris, that's, that's yeah. right one of them yeah yeah right i i i right i know you have many and i should have prefaced <laughs> it like like I, I know you i know you have several or what have you but what stands out what resonate with you the most and yeah, yeah. you just answered that yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. so so tell me too um i mm -hmm. and if if, if you want to share that that mm -hmm. quote uh, you said you found it uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm getting ready. Yeah. I'm, I want to print it out because I want to show. Yeah. I want you to just go ahead and show my face again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I, um, I, I think this is a very powerful message here and it's, yeah, it's a very powerful message. Okay. All right. Now I can print it up. Cause it's, but yeah, but you, yeah, but you can go ahead. If you have something else to ask me, I'm, I'm good. I can multitask. Yeah. Well, and, and, and this, right. You've been multitasking for so long, right? <laughs> and, and, look, and look, we use that word all the time, but in business, especially being an entrepreneur, yeah. if, if you cannot multitask, yeah. you may want to rethink, you yeah. know, jumping out there in that world. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have it. You ready? Oh, you have it. No, hey, yes. Give, give it. Yes. Okay. This is Les Brown. What dreams will die with you? Imagine if you were being on your deathbed and this, and standing around your bed, the ghost of ideas, the dreams, the abilities, the talents given to you by life. And that you, for whatever reason, you never acted on the, those ideas. You never pursued that dream. You never used those talents. We never saw your leadership. We never used, you never used your voice. You never wrote that book. And there, they're standing around your bed, looking at you with large, angry eyes saying, we came to you, only you could have given us life. Now we must die with you forever. The question is, if you die today, what ideas, what dreams, what abilities, what talents, what gifts will die with you? Okay, that's it. Look, it... <laughs> It, it goes without saying that that <laughs> is beyond awesome <laughs> and it is it's so powerful yes. uh empowering there's there's so many words you can you can attach to that and and as you're as you're quoting it i mean i'm i'm just in envisioning mm -hmm. um you know myself actually overcoming yeah. certain certain yeah. obstacles Right. Uh, business related, of course. Yeah. I'm you know, just trying to keep everything business. Um, it, it, yeah, you can visualize so mm -hmm. many things. And, and it's uh, it, and it's, it goes without saying it's so uplifting, you know, yeah. just to hear stuff like that. And, yeah. and, 
and I, I tell you too, folks don't under. I shouldn't say it like that. Let me rephrase. I was about to say folks don't realize how uh, meaningful and moving quotes can be as right. they apply them in their daily daily lives. Right. Uh, and I had to kind of restate that because I think a lot of folks uh, with social media and all these platforms or what have you, um, more and more folks have understood the the power and the significance of a, of a word or a few words of a sentence, right? Uh, you know, words of wisdom, you know, at, such as the one you just recited. And now, you know, the type that you 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 print out and you stick on walls, right? For your right. motivation or what have you. And a lot of it is, you know, I've heard folks, ah, oh, that's just reverse psychology. Well, well, yeah, <laughs> it can be reverse psychology, but if it puts something in you, in your spirit, that's going to make you, right? Do something that you've always wanted to do. Stop putting it off. Jump out there or just, you know, put your toe out there just to see how it feels. And if you like it, take the plunge, make the time. And you know what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to interject here. Mm -hmm. and, you know, people say that, that, you know, some people can be so cynical. But listen, we all have needed something to motivate us, uplift exactly. us, encourage us. It may be in a different form, but. All of us, we are human beings having, ex we are spiritual beings, I'm sorry, having a human experience. Yeah, that's right. So cut the, um, <laughs> cut the BS. I mean, seriously, people can't, you know, and I I have a problem with with that when people say the, the cynical things about stuff. We, we at right. some point, in, I, I don't care who it is, Chris, at some point in our lives, Whatever we're in, whether we're working a nine to five, whether we're working for a corporation or whatever, mm -hmm. we're going to need something like this to uplift us. Yeah, I, so I wholeheartedly reverse, agree. Yeah, so the reverse psychology thing is, it's it, it it's null and void. It doesn't mean anything because at some at some point in what whoever we inter interact with, psychology is being used. Okay, it's being used. <laughs> at some That's right. form. Yeah, it's <laughs> being used. Brain, you yeah. know that's. Yeah, so no, I, I, I to again, yeah. to totally, totally, yeah. wholeheartedly agree with you. Yeah, so yeah, well, so see, yeah see, we gotta be well, mindful of, yeah, but go ahead. That's, I, I, that's I the reason, huh? yeah, no, no, but that what, what you're doing and what you said, mm -hmm. that's the that that's the aura, yeah, that uh, and the importance of eliciting the assistance of a, of a biz strategist, right, yeah. such as yourself. Yeah. And, and then too, you you have you have credibility, yeah. Right, you're you're, you're credible. You know, yeah. been there, done that. You know, yeah. hey, the, this this is what you're doing this time. Yeah. yeah, if you're experiencing this at this time, if it was related to I don't know, uh, uh, funding, uh, working capital, yeah. uh, marketing, what whatever. Yes. You know, this that, those are the tidbits that you can get from someone again who has been there, done that. In the form of business strategy as yourself. Yes, so so in, in saying that, real quick, in saying that, what what pitfalls come to mind that, that you would uh, tell a, a budding entrepreneur to not say steer clear of, but to be aware of? What, what comes to mind? Be aware of, number one, um, naysayers. Be aware of you know, not giving everything you have into your business. Don't need one thing I would recommend to entrepreneurs. Don't ever, ever, ever get too comfortable in your business. You want your business to grow. For instance, one time I can remember I was, you know, in the salon late one, two in the morning, just my momentum was going. Oh, I was doing the thing. Oh, I was making the money, you know, taking care of the two households and you know, oh, I was fine, and it, it was oh, things was just 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 as they were going so smoothly. <laughs> I was taking care of it all, Chris, right? <laughs> and boy, I didn't pay attention to the economy change oh. shifting. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So the it, it's almost like the bottom fell out. <laughs> With okay. it eventually, because yeah. I was working so hard, going to sleep and just getting up, going. I was still in college then. At the same time, I was running a business and in college at the same time. Mm. Yes. So, you know, it just and I was much younger then, of course. <laughs> <I was> younger. 
and I had more energy. You know, the energy level was was different back then. And okay. my children were in in high school. They were in school. And man, I'm telling you. But what I say to to people is really keep your eyes on the prize. Don't yeah. don't neglect. And another pitfall is you know just always grow always grow don't ever just just always grow in business always Ooh. learn new things education don't forget a people yes. ever stop your education yes uh, especially you know and and stay rooted and grounded yes yeah. stay yes rooted and grounded in your with your spiritual life too yeah that, look that we all know that that first right yeah yeah you know, and with, with that with that continuous development and learning if you uh -huh. will, because, you know, the, the world and it, the uh, everything around us is always evolving. Right. Uh -huh. And that's why I always tell people I I'm a lifelong learner because no matter like you said, to your point, how much, you know, how much you think, you know, <laughs> there's there's always so much more you can learn or something that you can learn that may have newly been introduced. Right that you can incorporate into your processes, be it thought process or what have you, mm -hmm. that will really get you further along with respect to what you're doing. Right. You know? and, and then too, to your point, and then that will also give you the awareness to know if you do need to reach out for some specific type of assistance or, you know, or coaching, if you will, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. So I, I have to ask. In in short, what would be your ultimate business goal? Just the 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 pinnacle. What what would that be? To reach as many people. I'm and and the number in mind for me is millions to okay. help to help them push their dream. Don't think small. That's right. Yeah, millions. Yes, yes, growing the Push the Dream University, you know, and that's going to be a total package of pushing your dream, and whether it's financially, you know, psychologically, having 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 the school Push the Dream University with it virtually online, just having a portal or courses so where it can just reach the masses of people pushing their dream. Because I know what it's like to push your dream. I know what it's like to have obstacles in the way. I know. I know what it's like not to have enough money to start your business and you want it so bad to, you know, you, you want it just as bad as you, you need to breathe as um, Eric Thomas would say. So, you know, I, I know what it's like to want something and at the time you just can't have it, you know, so I want to be able to connect the people to with the people that want to push their dreams push to dream university is going, you know, I mean, I can't express to you how I'm in a place in my life now that I, I know I'm, I'm just living in, in my, in my purpose. You yeah. didn't understand it at first. I know. Right, right. <laughs> but I knew seeing that's another thing. Nobody has to know your dream, but you, your that's dream, it. but you, that's it. And everybody else will come aboard later. When their time, when it's their time, and if they don't ever come, it's okay. But you just have to do what you were put here to do. That's <laughs> right. So when I was a child, yeah. I realized it then. And you know, being I never forget my great grandfather. He's the one that taught me how to drive. That's my grandmother's father. Mm -hmm. And I remember mm -hmm. him just taking the and giving me. You know, even you know when I was a little girl, he would give me little wis um, wisdom, little nuggets, and wisdom. Little, little things. He would just tell me little things and I didn't realize it then. Oh, he was just preparing me for life because he knew his time was going to be up soon. Exactly. You know? yeah, That's so it. You don't That's remember it. he used to sit on the porch all the time. Do you remember him? I, I do. Actually, yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, you know, that and my grandmother, oh my Lord, <laughs> don't make me cry. She yeah. She would always give me encouraging words and she used to tell me always treat people right sandy always yeah. good by people and right. she would say you can't hide from man i don't know why people try to hide she said because you can, but you can't hide from god so why are you mm. trying to hide you can't hide from god you can't hide from god people no 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 doing things and trying to hide can't you tell not every time we look around somebody's being exposed yeah. you know? oh. 
Ooh, now, now that that right there, that's a conversation that we definitely need to have yes. another day. No, but uh, no, because you hit the nail on the head. You hit, you just hit several head uh, nails yeah. on the head. And uh, you will be exposed. Yes, and and another thing too, I have a few friends that be like, Sandy, you need to write that book. You know, I always say. I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> Go ahead, please. I am, but this particular book here is about why African American men can't be millionaires. Ooh. And my thing is, Ooh. they can't keep their out of women's. That's why, and it's so di it's, it's a business, okay. It's a business from okay. a business standpoint now, but so check this out. Check this out real quick. I, I actually have some upcoming segments dealing with relationships. Okay. But 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 they're very pointed, not just some mm -hmm. old relationships. No, 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 no. They're going to be very pointed. So I, I, I just had to quickly say that as you shared that. Yes. Yeah, well, great. Because wow. I do believe that we have to focus on the main things. Um, I don't know whether you've been on Clubhouse or for me with Clubhouse. No. No. Clubhouse has a lot of, you know, business people and it's just like minded people on there. You got some ratchet stuff on there, too, but I don't I don't even right. that in my spirit. But okay. the thing is about just doing and create. You know what? We've missed out on so much wealth and so many things. Let, let's keep it real. You know, and I'm sorry, Chris, I'm just not trying to get off topic, but let's keep it real. No, th this this is all of this is right on top. Topic. Yeah. Let's keep it real. No one anyone money is you can't have enough of abundance of, of, of financial of money well mm. you know so mm. we need to start thinking of legacy building and the only way you're going to do that is you're going to have to take those ideas and do something with them and that's mm. what pushed it i'm telling you that's that's okay. my love that's my whole purpose in life to help you get those things out your head and in, okay. in, into existence <laughs> okay. That is it. And I get so passionate about that because I see so many people that come to me and they don't know which way to go, but they're scared to just continue to move forward. I mean, it's like they get stuck and then they want to go back to the nine to five or they get stuck and they say, oh, I got I, I got to do my entrepreneurship. I got to do my business. But then they go right back into their shell. They revert right back into the normal, comfortable spot in their lives. Ooh, and it's I don't know. We yeah. we gotta do something. We gotta do something better because we have legacies to leave. Let me tell you something. We are brilliant people. Yes. yes. Especially African Americans. We I are brilliant it. people. Don't let anybody tell you differently. You are That's brilliant. Right. That's right. <laughs> it's in your so, DNA. So it's like it's it's like what you just said, and it, uh, I'm, you may have another response. But I was going to ask you, knowing what you know now, what would you tell? 25 year old Sandy. Wow. Okay. Do you, you please, please segue with respect to what you just said for that question? Okay. Woo. And, and I, I and I know I know there are several things. Yeah. Give, okay. give, give me that one that that one that comes to mind. That one that comes to mind is don't wait on acceptance from anybody. You just do you. Don't wait. Don't get. Don't wait on the approval, because that's my. I was a people pleaser when I was younger. I'm just gonna call it like it is. I was a people pleaser, and I I was afraid to think differently. I had to follow the crowd and be and do what everybody else was doing in a sense and say okay, because I didn't want to be left out. That's what I would tell my. That was that's what I would tell the 25 year old Sandy. Okay. One of the things. Yeah, uh, right. One of the things. <laughs> right. I, I, and I think, Chris, because had I been at this place at 25, I tell everybody, I would have already been a millionaire. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. It, but 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 that's okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. you when 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 you know better, you do better. Yes. So we we are at, at that the, those that that stage in our lives, exactly. right? And and oh, yeah. look, it, we're armed with a litany of things. Yeah. We, we we've uh, to what you said earlier that we've networked. We have all types of resources out there. 
uh, men and women who are you know willing uh, to help. Uh, look, it, it's make it happen. Make make it happen. Get that plan together. Yeah. Dude, dude said, I know you heard the adage, right? Is is that um, I don't want to mess it up. It's real simple. Uh-huh. Plan, plan your work and work your plan. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you gotta you gotta plan it though. You oh, gotta it's plan happening it. now. It's happening now. But yeah. you know, I just wanna yeah. Make yeah. it happen. Make, yeah. make it happen. And, 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 and for the record, uh-huh. that that was not directed to you. That's just speaking in oh, general. Yeah. Right. I, I, I see. I know what you're doing. <laughs> I already know what you're doing. And I, I've known, as you mentioned earlier, I've known for years, or I should say decades, what you've been doing from a business perspective. Aww. So, uh, but look, I never thought you. I never thought you saw that. Look, well, <laughs> well I mean, it was. I, I've been in the shops. You know, I, <laughs> okay. I, look, I, our dad, our dad owned the owned yeah. the shop. Yeah. And then, look, entrepreneurial. That it's entrepreneurial spirit yeah. has, has yeah. been in our blood. You know, since yeah. whenever. Yeah. Right. And I started doing a genealogy search on our family, too. And I don't know whether I mentioned this to you or not. But guess what? Our grandfather was an entrepreneur. I Okay, I, okay, I knew that, but I don't, I never knew the details. So we, we're going to have to talk to yeah, that. Yeah, we will. We will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Hey, hey, look, look, it all makes, it's, it, it, it's all making sense now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so look, look, let's let's stay rooted, let's stay grounded, um, continue to do our work or God's work. Yes. And and um look, stay stay connected to all of our sources out here. You know, God, that's first and foremost, it almost goes without saying. Yes. Um, as you touched on a couple times earlier. Yes. But um look, it, this has been a, a joy to uh sit back and, and speak with you about it. Yeah. This is the first of many okay. uh, to come. Uh, we are going to join forces in some capacity at some point. Yeah. So, yeah, get ready. Well, you get ready, too, because I got to interview you for your um, life writing dot com on the um, um, seriously. Yeah. Bring, bring, yeah. bring it on. I, I, I look. I, I, I have so many things planned and I, I've sat on this for a long time. It, it was it was dormant. It was dormant for yeah. a long time. You know, some other things were going on or what have you. But excuses, we got we got to toss those excuses and and make the time, especially if it's something that you know we're passionate about and we really yeah. want to make uh, happen.